Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with yet another segment of Axe Man Mike. If you're new to the channel, go hit that subscribe button. Tell your friend to come chat Falcons football with your boy. All right, all right. If you on Atlanta Falcons Nation or Mad Mike Sports, all right, you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, continue to help us get to a magic number of 2,000. We're still on the quest to 2K, so do us a favor, man, and continuously support us by hitting that subscribe button where you get your answers, um, your question answers uh, in video form as well. But, all right, let's get straight to it, man. This comes from Falcons fans MVP. Um, man, Mike, do you think could Daryl Patterson will be a major weapon for the Falcons and uh, for the Falcons offense in 2021? Um, I do. I think he's going to be a very good uh, player for the Atlanta Falcons. Um, when you look at what he can provide um, just from the special teams aspect, we look at um, what the Atlanta Falcons have done, um, you know, and as far as their offense is concerned, what their special team is concerned, we talk about Cordero Patterson, a guy for the most part who has simply been um, just amazing. You look at his total combined yards with his spe- uh, offense, but – um, his combined total from kick returns and punt returns is well over a thousand yards, and that's something the Falcons have not done in quite some time. In fact, last year they were under 500. We're talking about 500 c- combined total, and the Falcons just just weren't. So when you look at what he's going to be able to bring for the Falcons on special teams wise, he's already you know a tremendous asset. He continues to stay healthy. This team is going to be so much better because, you know, we don't have to solely rely on Matt Ryan to just do everything. This team in its entirety, um, they can score points. They can get you in. They can get you in scoring position, a red zone. Um, that's what you want to be. So, um, Cordero Patterson on the special team side, on the special team side, he's going to be a major upgrade. But offensively, we got an offensive coordinator in Dave Grohn. He knows exactly what he's going to do with it because. Not only was he a receiver, he was a running back with him in Chicago. So when you talk about what Cordero Patterson can provide for the Atlanta Falcons, and I know a lot of people are just so focused on Mike Davis, but this guy can also be a running back. You can throw some trick plays out there, um, some some stretch plays. You can you know do some end around, some you know you can have him out on a real a, a real a wheel route where he takes the ball upfield, uh, makes a couple of guys miss, uses athleticism, uses his ability to, you know, get to that next level. That's all you need. He can be this version, you know, the Falcons, a new version of Terry Coleman. And that's what you want. You need guys that can be explosive, can get those big plays when you need it most, and not have to just focus on Matt Ryan being able to carry the team. All right, he's getting older. He's 37 years old. You don't want to continuously rely on him to, you know, to, you know, just do everything himself. So when you talk about Cordero Patterson and the passing game, I think he's going to be a very good piece. Again, we talk guys just catch a slant, you know, uh, whether it's, you know, kind of use him like the Chiefs use Tyreek Hill. You use these guys in misdirections, handoffs, get them, you know, in the slant, go deep, you know, so he can, you know, make some some plays down the field, um, in the backfield. You can do so many things with this Falcons. I uh, will cut Derek Patterson. When you talk about, you know, just creativity, this is one aspect of the team that I thought the Falcons just, you know, was, was really was their downfall. Offensively, defensively, special teams. This guy had absolutely no, all right, creativity. It was absolutely boring. It was predictable. And teams knew exactly what to do, how to stop them, when they was going to do things, what the coach was thinking, what the offense was thinking. And, you know, it was definitely um, time to upgrade. So having a guy like Ragon as well as Arthur Smith um, in their brain, they'd be able to put guys together in position to make plays like Cordero Patterson, like a... uh, you know, Quadri Olsen, 
you know, JV and Hawkins. These guys are going to be able to do what they do best and they use that athleticism. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think about this. This has been another segment of Ask Matt Mike. Again, if you're on Land of Falcons Nation, hit that subscribe button. Um, Matt Mike Sports, hit that subscribe button um, and leave your comments or a question if you want your question asked, whether it's football or, uh, you know, whether it's the Falcons or, you know, another team. Let me know what you guys think about this. Leave your comments below. Your boy, Matt Mike is out, man. Peace.